Hey guys, in this episode, we're gonna do something a little bit different. I'm going to bring you on a journey to Hong Kong, my hometown. I will travel around Hong Kong like a tourist, going to places that have not been before, and of course, we are also going to explore some wine restaurants together. Let's go! Our first stop is the Red Brick House Market, located in Kamtin, New Territories. The Red Brick House was built in 1895. This historic building is now transformed into a marketplace that sells local handicrafts, vintage clothing, gifts, and casual dining. While it is a great market to visit, we are coming here today because there's a cafe located inside the Red Brick House that is decorated in Moroccan style. Seeing all these nice Instagram photos, I also want to go see it for myself. So we have brunch there before we kick off our day. Overall, the food was so so, but I thought it was quite cool to be able to take some photos in Hong Kong that look like you have traveled to Morocco, especially during COVID. After brunch, we headed off to Kamtin Muro village. It is a 5 minute walk from the Red Brick House. It is an area where students and art teachers express their creativity. And then we went on to explore the area nearby, hike around a reservoir, and really just enjoying the nature. After the walk, we headed off to Taipo Butterfly Valley Organic Farm, a zoo where you can visit albacas and there's a bunch of activities for kids and adults too. They are definitely not hungry at all. The baits didn't work. Totally not hungry. <laughs> it's not eating. So we are at Central right now. This is the Lan Kwai Fong area. We are heading towards James Suckling Wine Central. For those who do not know James Suckling, he is one of the world's most influential wine critics. He is American, but he is pretty much based in Hong Kong right now. His restaurant is in the mid-levels. Since I'm in Hong Kong right now, I figure out I should check off one of my bucket list restaurants. Central. I think I have not been in Hong Kong for a long time, so I took a really stupid way of coming here. I actually walked all the way up to the mid levels, but actually, if you ever want to come here, there's actually the a very famous escalator in Central that you can actually take the escalator directly here. So, um, just as some tips for you if you ever want to visit. Um, James Suckling Wine Central. So what happened in there was that when we arrived, they gave us a welcome drink. They gave us a chili semillon from my pole. So here we go. That's the one that we got just now. Um, so let's give it a try. It's nice. It's um. It clears out your palate, so then you're ready for your meal. Now, we are given like a menu, they're like a bunch of like um, promotion going on, so we haven't really got a chance to take a look at this yet, so we'll um, read through that. Um, otherwise, you will have a huge booklet to study, you know? So, I mean, there's like just so many pages. I don't know, I've never been to a restaurant with so many pages of wine so if you're up for it definitely go through the list and study that and try as many as one and we also have like a very nice and concise menu for the dinner um, I think the price are reasonable
Well, we are at Sherwan's now, um, so we're going to try out some cocktails in a bar called Koa, C-O-A, Koa. I'm not sure, not sure how to pronounce it. Anyway, so. We are at Bata today for lunch. I've waitlisted this restaurant for a month and I got uh, a confirmation two days ago. I'm super lucky to be able to go to this when I'm in Hong Kong this time round. So let's come on in. All right, so this restaurant is famous for its wine. So it has a great selection of wine with uh, a lot of good food. They put their Bordeaux and Burgundy wines here. You can actually buy a bottle here and then drink it with your meal later. So it's really up to you. So the wines here are more at the premium price tag. So the Clement Cru, the Gong Cru, the Gong Cru Classe, they are all here, Burgundy and Bordeaux. If you're looking for a more moderate price tag, the wines are there. So come with me. So over here, you will find wines that are not just Bordeaux and Burgundy. You will find wines from other regions in France as well, or Italy. And we touch Blanc. This is to pair with um, our chicken and angel hair caviar. The main grapes are Maxen and Hosen. Usually this is not really the first one you will pick for a white. Maybe you will probably go for like a Chardonnay or Sauvignon Blanc, but I figure out it's good to try something a bit different. So I happen to know a friend that works here. We can enter that cave today and here you can see some of the most famous collectibles from Burgundy and Bordeaux. So it's Champertin. Fat vintage, quite difficult to acquire. Even though you may acquire a bottle like this in the market, it's hard to find a bottle that's in a great condition. And, uh, here you'll find an extensive collection of collectible items that you see often in, in auction. Something that we specialize is very back vintage champagnes crude dating back to 1952, 88, 90 well matured champagnes that are extremely uh, developed. Oh my god, the cave is so beautiful. So these are like really rare because they don't have it every year. And Trockenbeeren Auslieser is the sweetest of Riesling in Germany. And, and it's like super old vintage, so they really have some really good collections here. Really pricey as well. Yeah. <laughs> so you need to know the best store to get those seafood. In Shanwan? In Shanwan. You only find a tram here in the Hong Kong Island. And it's also super cheap. A highly recommended transportation when you're in Hong Kong Island. Hey guys, I'm on my way to La Cabane Wine Bisto. I'm climbing up the hill in Sherwan. Super slowly. The struggle is real.
We've ordered some shakuteri and cheese as a starter. Today we ordered sima from Southwest. We are pairing sira with shakuteri, red meat with red wine. Tonight I'm having a beer tasting event. I learned something super interesting. So I finally know how to differentiate ale and lager. So apparently ale and lager they are yeast. They are two different yeasts. So ale is from the UK and lager is from Germany. And so how you differentiate ale and lager uh, visually is that if the yeast is at the top of the bottle, that's ale. If the yeast falls to the bottom, like here, that's lager. But so there's still a little bit of yeast remaining at the top. That's actually an ale beer. I'm in Sai Kong today. It is in the New Territories. That's the place where you actually take the boats to the islands in Hong Kong. It's pretty cool. Look at that. So at my back, that's where you take the ferry to whatever islands that you want to go at my back here. That's all the seafood restaurants all along the pier. I'm at the boat now and we are heading to Hat Moon Bay. There should be quite a lot of frequency. It's pretty cheap to go to some of the islands here and cost around 40 dollars, Hong Kong dollars, which is around 5 USD. So it's quite worth it if you want to check out the Hong Kong islands. Island. So finally we have arrived after two hours of walk. So you see the bridge behind me? That's where a lot of people take photos. Later. The market is super busy here in Saigon. It's around 6 now. It's a Saturday. I don't know if it's always so busy but it's definitely super busy now. Oh, the dry seafood. Like a seafood paradise. So we are at the seafood street here. Seafood street in Chinese. It kind of speaks for itself. It's the street of seafood. <laughs> We're gonna have dinner today. The restaurant is where we're going tonight for our seafood dinner. This restaurant got a one star Michelin award. It's pretty good. 